Hello, today I'll be showing you guys the course preview for New Melly Disc Golf Course. It's a par 62, 8,024 feet. Today I'll be playing from the blue tees. Thank you to my sponsor, Jess Pendiskin. Here's a little preview of the website. Here's a bunch of discs, bags, carts, towels, shirts, a lot of things. Here's his Facebook page. He posts about his tournaments and leagues. Here's the course map for New Melly. All right, starting on hole one. Today it is in the C position, 515 feet. It is a par four, and it's pretty much a straight shot. Just there's a tree at the beginning you have to get through, and then there is rough left, and then OB way deep and pretty far right. So it's sort of it's simple to stay in the fairway. You just don't want to hyzer out too much at the end and go in the woods. Here I'm going to throw my DD3 and I'm just going to fl flip it up, have it glide down, and then it just barely nicks the branch and drops. I assume that that would be the normal landing spot for people. And it was a downhill upshot, so skipped, skipped a little bit. Terrible kick off the basket and rocked. That was a tester putt for par. high but that was a good putt all right now hole two it's in the a position 333 feet par three tunnel open right off the bat and then slowly goes into a tunnel and goes a little bit to the right at the very end and there's a couple trees around the basket then a lot of trees right before it you're trying you're just looking to throw a straight shot as a backhand player I threw my buzz and it's a little sock cut off and then I get through some stuff. Tap in par. Hole three, it's in the A position, 993 feet. Sorry, 493 feet is a par four with woods on the right pretty much open for the first part of the hole and then you have to throw over a pond to a little bit of, of an island green it's a big hill you want to land it within you know circle two so that you pretty much guarantee you're not going in the water here i'm just trying to throw one of my overstable wraiths to try to get in position First forehands of the day and first forehand off the tee of the day. And my next shot, I'm trying to go for it because it's just a course preview. And wind rips it to the right and it hits a tree. Yeah, so here you can see where I'm standing. That's like that's the other tee, bot, tee pad, and it's a lot easier, but it is a par par three. Hole four, it's in the A position, 324 feet. It is a par three. And this one is like many others on this course, just through the woods, snakes left and right. But this one, you just wanna throw an over table disc off the tee to try to get in position. And then you wanna throw a straight shot if you're in position. And I am, speaking of in position, I am not. Throw that way left. Try to get out. Can't see me there. And here's my third shot. So that's the shot that, pe that people usually take as their second shot. But there I took it as my third because I had a bad second shot. Hole five. 
It's in the A position. Par 3, 418 feet. This one, you just uh, hyzer, flip, hyzer flip out the gap because you don't really want to go an over stable disc to go left in the woods or saw it off, but you don't really want to throw, throw under stable to possibly go in the woods right. I'm going to throw my straight destroyer. It doesn't matter if it's over stable or not, I still saw it off and I pitched out and then that was my third that we saw right there. Not very good. And then my putt, just a little short. I'll be tapping bogey. Or not tapping, but I should make that. Alright, hole six, it's in the A position. Um, it is 462 feet. This one, you're trying to go over this little ravine with a little pond right down there, or a little creek, and then it goes back up the hill, and OB left over that on or over the cart path, and then there are a few trees on the right that you have to get past before you make it to the basket. And you just want to slide up next to the rocks down by the bottom of the basket. Throw my DD3 like hole one and just a little overturned clips a branch and drops not terrible but i'll have an approach that one i just lofted up next to the rocks because i don't want to i don't necessarily want to hit the rocks and roll away so i was lucky Hole 7 in the B position is a par 4, 594 feet. This one you're trying to land it by the short tee pad and then you want to throw another straight shot to the basket. But this one is very difficult for your second shot. So you want to be in prime position and let's see if I can do that. I'm going to throw my MB3. I turn, I just pull it just a tiny bit and it's off the fairway. And I'll have this shot and I turn it over, I'm trying to throw a hyzer flip to stand it up and come back left, but it never did. That's my third shot, it's a tree. <laughs> Next shot, a little low and has no time to flex out. Just trying to get around the trees. I got through though. I'll have a putt. I knew right out of my hand that was short and right. Well, eight is in the B position, 327 feet. This one's a little uphill going right and you just want to blast one up or you can play for for, for a par for position for a little bit of a difficult upshot but after that last hole I'm gonna try to rip one up there and I got my TL3 just clips a tree and fades out this is I do have a gap on my second shot like a lot of these holes the woods the wood holes are very tight and it's very difficult to get into, into position up the fairway so you, a lot of times you find yourself off the fairway scrambling for par or possibly bogey hole nine is in the b position 394 feet um the short position or the short pen sorry the short t pad is a straight shot you just want to get a little bit you want to get through the trees and then come to the right a little bit. But the long tee pad that I'm playing from the blues, uh, just dead straight. So you want to rip one up there. On my FD, I feel pretty good. And then I clip a tree and kick way left. So here I have nothing on the right side. So I'm trying to go over all of the rough and hit another branch. You can see that the fairway is pretty open around the green, but 
regarding, if, you know, a few trees, but I probably should have tried to go over the fairway instead of over the trees in the rough. Um, hole 10 is in the C position, 320 feet. This one's a very tight gap off the tee. You want to get through, but you also want to be high enough that you uh, glide or slide, skip all the way down to the basket. Because it is hard to get all the way down from with, with this gap. And I just leave my buzz way left. Not very good. And then the short position, the short, the short tee pad is farther up to the right of the hill. And it is in base, a little bit of an open shot. Not really a tunnel off the tee, so it's a little easier. That's a great putt right there. <laughs> Not really happy about that. You'll see a lot of bad shots this round, but you know, I'll come back later. Hole 11 is in the C position. It is 370 feet. This one, like <laughs> most of the holes, pretty straight up, up a hill and then a little bit to the right. You just gotta get through all the trees. Tunnel shot off the bat and then you just wanna get, you just wanna find a line through the trees on your second shot. I'm throw my FD, turn it good. I thought it looked like it was going to end up in a good spot. Then I was right by a bush and I had to do a standstill. And standstills are my kryptonite. You can tell by this shot right here. And I had to do another standstill and then clips a tree. Couldn't, <laughs> couldn't find a gap on my second shot so I'm gonna be fighting for a double I think yeah d double bogey. not very good now on to hole 12 is in the a position it's a par 3 251 feet from the short pad it's pretty much a straight shot a little bit of a hyzer shot you just want to get under the trees a long, long tee pad. It is just a hyzer shot, or I guess a anhyzer for flick or something like that. But I hit pretty close to the basket. It is an elevated basket on top of a tree stump, which I like that. Um, I got close enough that it was an easy putt, but I would have liked to <laughs> have a tap in. Hole 13, par three. 345 feet this one there is a straight to not straight to it's a very you want to throw a very right to left shot off the tee or you can take this inside gap that I'm gonna take um, I try to take and I just barely get through but the basket is way left you want to get up you want to push very far and then you want to have you just fade out very far. I ended up in a pretty good spot. I'm just gonna have a jump jump putt approach with my mid-range. And that'll be a tap in par, which is a good one on this hole because I usually have bad luck with it. Hole 14 at Melly is the A position, 619 feet. This one, it's a blind shot off the tee. You can't really see where the gap is into the woods but you want to get far enough to see it off your drive and then you want to throw a shot moving left to right for your approach and you, you want to slide it up or stick it in the green it is, it is a little skippy though because it's dry dirt around there and then the short tee bed is more to the right and you can see the gap I'm going to throw my D1 I think and I get a pretty good pull on it. It's just a little low. And then I'll have this. I've been liking this Anheuser forehand approach. But then here the wind takes it immediately. And I'll have a long putt for birdie. Ruining, pretty much ruining my chances. That it's at a tap and obviously, but. Yeah, that ruined my chance for a birdie. I did not feel very confident because of the wind. It's pretty di this course is pretty difficult when it's windy. 
Hole 15, it's in the A position. Um, I, w- I would have liked it to be in the B position because it's very cool. It's very, very elevated basket. You can see the rocks on the right. But it's a par 4, 486 feet. Um, and it's you just don't want to go too far left because that is rough. And then there is OB left over the cart path. Short, but it's pretty much just a wide open shot. I'm going to throw my DD3 and a hyzer. Flipped up and then started to fade out again. That's pretty close. I'm very happy with that. And I'll be very happy if I can make this eagle putt. I make it. And that's one good one good hole, finally. Um, this one is in the B position. Hole 16, par 4. 467 feet. This one is a straight shot. There is a mando to the right. You want to get left of that. And it's just straight. And then you, it starts to go a little bit to the right. Up the hill. After a while. So you just don't want to end up too far left. On my FD. Trying to flip it up. If I put, would have put more power behind that. I would have ended up in the middle. But I just didn't. And I thought my forehand was. I thought that was going to be really close. But I didn't see the. It was a weird weird distance I was from. My putt knew it out of my hand, it wasn't gonna make it. Pretty dis- pretty disappointed. I was expecting to get a birdie from that upshot, but I didn't see the slope. Hole 17 is in A position, par 3, 363 feet. This one is also as a mando. The short tee pad is right by it, so it's pretty easy to get by. And then the long tee pad, it's a little bit, you get a little bit of air time before you get past the mando, so you want to be more accurate. It's pretty, this is a straight to the left shot that you want to throw off a tee to get close to the basket. I threw my FD, or sorry, MD3, but wasn't very close, and I had to pitch out because I was in a bad spot. And that was my up shot with my A3. Not a very good tee shot. And this course, you do need a lot of good tee shots to be in position to save par or possibly get a bogey. Or, sorry, birdie. Pull 18, par 3, 381 feet. This one is a big elevation shifter. The last hole was really downhill, and then this hole's really, really uphill. The short pad, it's like the same shot essentially, but you just have that one tree in the middle compared to the front pad. I'm going to throw my force, I pull it just a tiny bit, then it kicks to the right. I'm trying to get under this tree, clips a branch, phantom branch, and I'll be left with, <laughs> left with this for par. Here's my sad putt <laughs> for bogey at the very end. and. Not a very good round, but hope you guys liked this course preview. Many more to come, and make sure to check out my other ones. Here's my scorecard for the Blues at New Melly. Got a, I snuck an eagle in there and a few birdies, but I did shoot plus nine. Not very good. Not very good circle one putting, 0% circle two, 20% scramble, not very good, but I will take a few of those drives that I did. Thank you to my sponsor, Jess Bendiskin, and you know, check him out on his website and on his Facebook page. Thank you, make sure to like and subscribe, and check out many more videos to come.